it's a matter of pride to protect the land. The land is what Texas is, and the land is what Texans are. A landowner in Jefferson County engaged in a legal battle against the Keystone Pipeline. The dispute played out inside and outside the Jefferson County Courthouse. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Leger. And I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. Rice farmers and property owners whose land goes back generations in southeast Texas are battling a Canadian company over the use of that land. TransCanada is planning to build a pipeline from the Canadian border with the United States to the Gulf Coast. The government rejected the company's first plan to build the 1,200-mile pipeline. TransCanada is redesigning the project and it is going ahead with the southern portion of the pipeline to the Gulf Coast. That portion does not require the presidential approval because it will not cross an international boundary. Critics worry the type of crude the pipeline will carry could cause an environmental disaster in the event of an accident. Some southeast Texas rice farmers and property owners took the pipeline company to court today in Beaumont. They question whether Keystone has a legal right in Texas to use their property. But 6 News anchor Ashley Gaston explains their main argument involves compensation for the use of land that has remained in some families for more than a century. Bales and bales of hay, as far as the eye can see. This farm along Hillebrandt Road in South Jefferson right. County provides food for hundreds of cows every winter. It's a matter of pride to protect the land. The land is what Texas is, and the land is what Texans are. David Holland's family has owned the 4,000 acres since 1830. For us to try to protect some semblance of fair market value, we must risk losing everything. Risk, he says, stems from a plan to build part of the Keystone Pipeline across his property. TransCanada, the company building the pipeline, wants to use a two-mile stretch of Holland's property for a portion of the pipeline. Holland doesn't want to let the contractors inside the gates until he's guaranteed fair compensation for his land, his cows, and his Texas rice land company. People who support Holland and his cause demonstrated Wednesday morning outside the Jefferson County Courthouse. The product that's going to go in this on my client's land. Inside Judge Tom Rugg's courtroom, an attorney for Holland argued TransCanada isn't offering enough money for the risk the pipeline poses to his livelihood. Compensation is always a question on these things, but TransCanada is very aware of that and they do their best to negotiate with landowners. TransCanada said it offered a fair amount of money to build the pipeline through Holland's property. Holland disagrees. It's not being bullied. It's not being bullied by people who pretend to have a right of condemnation, but who abuse every single privilege that they have gained over the years. A war of words stemming from a court case, one a landowner says is about much more than legal definitions. If, if we are going to be the environmental goats, we would like to be protected to the maximum extent possible, and we would be compensated for being the environmental goats. He says it's about security, families, their rights, their land, and how to preserve it for generations to come with or without the Keystone Pipeline. In Jefferson County, Ashley Gaston, KFDM 6 News. And Judge Tom Rugg says he'll announce a decision September 24th.